Hey guys, this is Destiny Heroic, um, and I'm coming at you today with a Bermuda Triangle deck profile. Uh, this is the release day slash released weekend of the uh, Extra Booster 6 Dazzling Divas. So this is going to be a prism based uh, Bermuda Triangle deck. So start things off, I'm actually using the non-prism starter. Uh, Shizuku is the grade 3 searcher um, and that's because uh, the prism deck is based on a break ride theme. Uh, first one in the TCG. So I was really really interested in doing that. So uh, in a deck that wants to ride multiple grade 3's in a game um, I'm using the grade 3 searcher. So uh, trigger lineup. I'm using six criticals uh, four prisms, uh, two non-prisms, because there are only four prism criticals in existence. Um, and then four draws plus two for a total of six draws. Uh, same with the prism, or same with the criticals, there's just not enough, uh, prism draw triggers to use a full six. Um, the reason I'm going six and six is because uh, the main vanguard of this deck is Labrador, <coughs> and Labrador's Limit Break adds a critical to her attack when she attacks, so um, having eight criticals uh, is really not necessary, uh, especially when you want, when uh, during the Limit Break you're going to be dumping a lot of your hands, so you want to be able to have a, uh, you want to be able to maintain hand presence throughout the Limit Break. Um, and of course, after that, the four uh, prism heals. And for grade ones, I'm using uh, four prism romance mercure. Mercure, I don't know, it's a French word, whatever. Um, this is a, she's a 7k, and when attacking, if you have a prism vanguard, she's a 10k. Um, so this is like, uh, uh, this is like uh, for the Royal Paladin deck. This is like K, who attacks at ten when your Vanguard is a blaster. So there's not much to say about that except that she can be a good booster and a beefy attacker. Um, using three Prism Image Clear. Um, this is one of the new ones. Well, they're all new actually. But uh, when you bounce this, you can Soul Blast one and pump uh, another Bermuda on your field by four thousand. Um, and the the break ride often has uh, will often be bouncing a bunch of cards, so you can pump the vanguard or whatever by 4k and then just play it down again. Um, two sednas to round out the uh, the back row. Um, it's not a prism, so I wanted to reduce the number in the deck. But uh, early on in the game, she's a good attacker, and later on in the game, good booster. Um, four Mermaid Idol Ellie, the Null Guard. Um, I like to have four Null Guards in every deck that I make, so that's the reason I'm doing that. And a single Prison Promise Leyte. Um, this is the 11k booster for Labrador. Um, so if you can get this behind her during her limit break, you can swing in the uh, 30,000 range every turn, which is pretty good. And moving on to grade twos, I've got Prism Romance Lumiere. This is the 12k attacker as long as your Vanguard is a Prism. Um, and we've got 10k Vanilla, Prism Smile Ligurian, and two Prism Promise uh, Celtic. This is the same as the clear. When you bounce it, you can Soul Blast and pump something by four. And then a single copy of Prism Image Rosa. Uh, Rosa is a 11k when your Vanguard has when you have a Grade Three on the field that has a Limit Break Four ability. And the Grade Three lineup, pretty simple. This is the Break Ride. Uh, Prism Image Vert Ver. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you're supposed to pronounce that with a French accent or what. <laughs> um, 
But uh, this is the first brake ride of the TCG, at least until uh, October. And when you ride another grade, grade 3 on this, when you have 4 damage, uh, that grade 3 will gain 10k, and you bounce two Bermudas on the field, potentially activating their effects. And if this is the attacking, if this is the if this is just your your if this is your vanguard, um, it gains two thousand when there's four other Bermuda rear guards on the on the full, on the board. And to go with that, we are running four Labradors. Uh, Labrador is a beast. <laughs> she doesn't look it, but she's a beast. Um, her limit break is when you when you attack. You can drop, you can summon four or uh, up to three Prism Bermudas from your hand, and if you do, she gains ten thousand and an extra critical for that attack. So combined with the break break ride, you can swing for thirty one unboosted. With the Lady, you can swing for forty two with two crits, and that's just so mean. <laughs> um, and her other ability is if the if the big attack fails on your break ride, which it does, because all they have to do is null guard it, um, you can counterblast one uh, prism in your damage zone and bounce a prism on your field to your hand. So basically, that's for resetting her limit break to swing for another twenty or thirty thousand with the extra crit. A couple turns of that, and the opponent's uh, generally running out of cards and running out of null guards and stuff. So it's pretty hard to deal with. Um, so this is, this is a really fun deck. Um, brake riding is really cool. <laughs> um, there are two other forms of, uh, Bermuda decks that came with this set. Uh, there's the new ride chain and there is the Eternal Idol Pacifica build. The Pacifica build is actually really good. Uh, one of my friends has made it and it's really consistent because you can retain the old bounce and draw cards. You don't have to stick to prisms. Uh, so I'm probably going to do a, tech, a deck profile for that and I'll do the uh, the coral ride chain as well. Um, so tell me what you think and all that. Uh, comment, subscribe, stuff like that. Um, I didn't get any games recorded for this because my, uh, my camera was out of battery, <laughs> which sucked. So, yeah, tell me what you think. Um, tell me what uh, which version of Bermudas you'd like to see next. Um, I've also got a couple more decks coming up. Um, I've got uh, Beast, ne Beast Deity Nova Grapplers just about completed and Angel Feathers just about completed. So uh, after I do Bermudas, I'll probably go with one of those. Um, but in terms of Bermudas, tell me which ones you want to see next. Um, it's uh, Aurora Star Coral or Eternal Idol Pacifica. So thanks for watching. Uh, again, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And peace.